We live in an increasingly fragile world and growing frequency and intensity of natural disasters contribute greatly to this fragility. Because of climate change, weather-related disasters come more often because of population growth, of the expansion of megacities, of the complexity of, of our economy. When they hit, more people suffer and there is more property damaged. From Haiti to Japan, we have seen the terrible tragedies natural disasters cause. So it is time to take a hard look at what we can do to help communities and countries be better prepared to face the inevitable trend in the future. This requires investment, but we know that for every dollar or every euro invested in disaster risk reduction, the benefits are four to seven times greater. And uh, in Mozambique, in Bangladesh, we have seen how these investments work, how they deliver safety and security to disaster-prone communities. And this is why in the European Union, we have made the decision to bring the development and humanitarian communities together for a new policy in disaster prevention, in building resilience in the most disaster-prone developing countries. Well, we can't prevent natural calamities, uh, but we could help the people to rebuild their lives. And rebuilding their lives definitely makes a lot of difference. But unfortunately, calamities could come back. And when it comes back, they could strike with the same force. So this is a big task, really, to build the life with more resilience. So when the next calamity comes, people are better prepared for it. And we have seen this in Horn of Africa, where access to water is not only that we guarantee for short term. We are thinking also, what happens if there is no supply of diesel? Then we could use solar energy. And there is a lot of things that we could do better. And at the end of the day, the people will be more protected, will be more safer, and their livelihoods will be better. So our message is this. We cannot stop natural disasters, but we can help the most vulnerable communities be better prepared for them, and we can prevent them from turning into humanitarian catastrophes.